Welcome to the video lecture on chapter 7.2. Here we look at the conservation of momentum. When we look at momentum and as we move into looking at collisions, it's important to look at our system. When we look at our system, there are two types of forces that are going to be acting on this system. Forces that are, occur from within the system and forces by objects or things outside of the system. We will deal mostly and pretty much exclusively with the internal forces, these forces from inside the system, from two objects, for example, say colliding, a car running into another car. We will only worry about the force of car A on car B. We will not worry about the force of friction or the force of air resistance for something like this. When looking at external and internal forces, it's important to remember Newton's third law. In this case here of the bat hitting the ball, and a very large bat hitting a small ball in this case, we have the force of the bat on the ball, and then by Newton's third law, which comes from the conservation of momentum, there is a force of the ball on the bat. Total momentum, or initial and final momentum, does not change for a system. This is because if each four object exerts an equal and opposite force from Newton's third law, and the two objects are in contact for the same amount of time, there's no way that they can be in contact for one in contact with an the other object longer than the other object can be in contact with that, which is kind of confusing to say, but really simple when you think about it. That means they must have the same change of momentum. When solving conservation of momentum problems, it's easy to they become easier when you follow a few steps. First, select the system. Before, we had the bat and the ball. Next, identify internal and external forces. Internal forces, since both objects are part of the system, would be the bat applying a force on the ball and the ball applying a force on the bat. External forces would be air resistance or any other frictional forces outside of that. Verify that the system is isolated. It must be for um, momentum to be conserved. Remember, momentum is a vector. That means it has both magnitude and direction. Set the velocity, or excuse me, set the final momentum of system equal to the initial momentum. Here's a sample problem for tonight's video. A skateboarder starts it from rest and pushes on the ground with 200 newtons horizontally for three seconds. What objects are part of the isolated system? What is the initial momentum of the system? What is the final momentum of the kid? And what is the final momentum of the earth? Make sure to fill in these answers online from my website and to read through the section in your textbook. Don't go be a punk little skateboarder with your long hair, bro. Dude, man, just cruising out there on the water. But you can't skateboard on water at all, bro. So just don't do the skateboard kickflip ollie la-da-da thing, bro.